<laughs> mash, 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 mash. Morning, beans. How y'all doing? We're gonna be playing some Undernight in Birth. I'd quite like to learn how to play some Nanase. I just thought she was really interesting looking because of the... I don't know if you guys remember, there was a match. There was a YouTube video I posted where I was playing some matches against Yuzuriha and Nanase. But I just thought, Nanase's movement looks really interesting. Ah, this is important. Before we actually learn any characters, it's time to choose a color. I'm a fan of all the Nanases with black hair. It's got more blonde. It's got versions with blonde hair as well. Orange hair. Oh wow, orange hair would have a good Falcom look, wouldn't it? Where are the Madoka colors? Oh, is this? This is kind of a Madoka color, isn't it? Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm not so obsessed with the black hair now. I was like, it's gotta be Nanase. If I play any Nanase, it's gotta be with black hair. But now I'm kind of looking at all these colors. They're all actually really cool looking. Whoa! Ranka Lee. This is the Macross Frontier color. Oh wow, this is quite nice as well. Watermelon. Usually I go for a sort of teal blue color. Insulator Girl. This could be... This could be a Miku color, I suppose. It might be a little bit too teal. She's best friends with Fernon, isn't she? I actually don't know the lore behind this character, but I know the lore behind Fernon is she... She kind of wanted to become an Inber. These colors are all actually pretty cool. Even... You know what? Even Clamorous colors looks pretty good. I cannot choose. Ordinary schoolgirl who got hit by a void. Bit by a void. I got the... Truck Coon. Bit by a void and rescued by Hyde. Mistook Hyde as being responsible for making her an inbirth and keeps pestering him. <laughs> what? That's amazing. That's so anime. That's, um, Misty. That's the Pokemon Misty story. You stole my bike! Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna be your best friend forever. Because I've got no friends, because my only friend is a Starmie. Oh, you know what? It's got to be the Ranka Lee color. The, the fact that it's, it's Macross, and, I, and we did that tweet recently, this week, about Macross. All right, so let's see her moves. A, B, C. Does she have an anti-air? I'm assuming this <laughs> that has a very anti-air scent to it. So what's going on with this tornado? Does it like suck him in at the end of the move? That's interesting. After landing, jump up C. What the flip? Oh, gross. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Playing Nanase is just mashing the C button in various ways. I love it. <laughs> it's, um, I'm not sure how I feel. I'm not sure how I feel about it, to be honest. I did the right one, but I missed because I did the wrong jump cancel. Yeah, I'm sorry about this music. Um, I, <laughs> I mean, I'm like anyone else. I like this tune, but only for two minutes at a time. I, I wouldn't want to hear it for two hours, so I apologize. But you know, we gotta learn these combos. <laughs> it's such a, it's such a magical girl super. That's so funny. All right. Let's play some matches, and since we're in Nanase mode, I'm actually- I'll play some matches with Nanase, but let me- I like to do this, I like to try the advanced com the veteran combo at least once. So I get a- get a feel for what you're supposed to actually do with your BNBs. I think the other- the next stage after you learn these combos in the mission mode is to do it without looking at the inputs at the top. I mean, I can't remember anything about these combos, but before we go online, let's read the tactics mode. Nanase is a speed fighter skilled at pressuring the opponent with far-reaching attacks and quick aerial moves. Maximize her reach by using standing B and standing C to poke your opponent. If the opponent turtles, mix your attacks with the overhead dash. Both can connect into a combo if 236B additional C is used and hits the opponent. So this is the B dash. That hits if he's running away, but if it blocks, then you want to go overhead, dash C, dash into crouching B. Oh, this is low? It doesn't look low. If attacked, use invincible frames in your DP B or C to retaliate. 
Nice to have a good DP. Well, is this the cami of the game? All right, let's play some matches. I have not figured out any combos with this girl, but who cares? Hey, I was gonna do that. Seven frames away. We got this. No, I'm dead already. Just beatbox the sound effects. <laughs> if I ever forget the audio again. Uh, yeah, just do some beatboxing for me. Punished! DP! Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Ouch! No! Okay. So my first match ever as playing as Nanase, and I, st I don't have a grip on how to move her around the screen. I think the picture quality is actually better on an HD60. Than the AV media. The AV media, you have to like, you have to like tweak the picture quality before it looks nice. For gaming, you you generally don't notice. I tried to go training stage to see if it would help. Okay. So I'm trying to play around with these setup tools because I'm not I'm not much of a setup tools person or even if I am I, I don't I, I never use them properly when I've got them so I'm, I'm trying to Whoops! Okay. Oh, I didn't do the combo. Okay. Ah, that's overhead! At least I got a round. I like this color. I like this color. I think it, I think I only like it because it's Macross. I don't think it doesn't. I don't think it naturally looks nice, but as a as a Macross fan, oops. What? No, 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 no. What? Not dead? <laughs> I don't think so. Whew. Stayed alive. Whew. Okay. So it's kind of understanding a little bit more about the way she moves. She 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 feels a lot like a 
like a KOF character. I feel like to control her movement, it's like more about special moves and you have less reliance on just the standard moving of the, the D-pad. <laughs> so I'll see, see what I can do with more movement. Oops! Oops, that's low. Oops! <laughs> I was gonna do that. No, I'm in the corner now. This is bad, this is bad. No, not like this. <laughs> mash, 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 mash! I don't know, you can do four of them in a row. That's cool. Ouch, ouch, that hurts. Oh, and low. Oh. Being exposed by my jump ins. Ouch! What? That doesn't hit? Denzen? Ouch. <laughs> I love these trades. Got him. No! Good. Ouch. Ouch. No, I always- Oh, oh what? You jumped- Uh-oh, uh-oh, danger. Will Robinson! No, not like this! No, I went for the YOLO, the YOLO supers at the end and it didn't, it didn't, didn't win me. Unfortunately. I hate mirror matches. Well, for me, this is actually probably good to have a mirror match. As a, as, as someone having never played this character before. Well, I, I, apparently I have played this character before, but I don't remember it. Thanks for the games, GG's. It's probably good for me to just see other stuff that other players do with this character. Oh, this is better. Yeah, look, look this is like six frames faster. Mm. Oh, I always try to. Oh, man.
Oh no! What? 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 Nice change shift. Whew, okay. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, this is like a zillion times better than before. Thanks, Spectre. Spectre. We're fixing your computer. Ouch. Oh, I was blocking the wrong direction. Ouch. I don't remember my anti-air. DP after the CS! That's the only thing I know how to do after CS. Oh, I guess sometimes I throw after chain shift. Wow, I played too much Smash online. This almost felt like offline to me. <laughs> I was Fresh Lettuce, also Zilvik. What? Oh man. You've got three different screen names? Why do you do this to me? Ouch! Oh, ouch! Oh, oh, missed, 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 missed. That's what I wanted. Oh no! I'm trying to play... I'm trying to figure out what my pokes are. There it is. Ouch, what? Not ready for the overhead. Next chain shift. Oh, I don't know how to do that combo yet. At least I tried it though. Oh no, I got- I, I was looking at the grid. Looking at grid, I was like, no, I've lost my chain shift. Okay, dead. She actually says with her voice, she's like, down low, at your feet. Oh no! 
Whoops. Darn. I guess at the moment I'm so panicking about the scramble that I'm not thinking too much about my, like, doing some solid combos. But every time I, like, every time I think about the combo, I, like, lose track of the the poking and the, the neutral game. I'm a new guy. What's a DP? Uh, DP is short for Dragon Punch. It's a good point. I often forget that I say that a lot. Uh, dragon Punch is the Shoryuken move from Street Fighter. So basically any move that rises up into the sky tends to be called uh, a, a DP or Dragon Punch. Or a lot of people say Uppercut, but I don't like that because Uppercut, to me, an Uppercut is a, is a grounded normal, but Ouch! Ooh, okay. <laughs> the DP party! No, what? I didn't do the DP, it didn't come out. I didn't do the DP, it didn't come out. I was like, chain shift! Oh, uh, nothing. And that's the other thing, I want to start using more crossover veil off. What's it called? Cross cut veil off? I've enjoyed playing Under Night today, learning a new character. I wasn't actually expecting to play any matches with her. I, was, I thought I would do mission mode and then maybe play Merkava. So I think maybe in a future stream, I definitely want to play more Merkava matches because I, en I enjoyed playing him. I do think though that Nanase is more of an Under Night character. Like, Phonon and Merkava are really great because they can get a lot of momentum from like a distance, but I feel like as a result you kind of do yourself a disservice. You don't practice getting in on your opponent. With Wagner, I feel like she, I did practice getting in on the opponent, but she just felt really powerful and I was like okay I'm just gonna not play Wagner for now because I think I, I think I like this character and Nanase feels like a better balance between the two so far I feel like you do have to get in you've got a few mix-ups if you want to just confuse your opponent so she feels powerful from the get-go um, but I was mashing buttons with her and I feel like I need to stop mashing so hard it was working to a degree, and then I was like, wait a minute, I don't I don't even know what, what move comes next. So I was just kind of throwing in, cancelling into special moves kind of randomly to see if it would work. And sometimes it did work, but... I felt like with Nanase, I had to think harder about when I was shielding and using Chain Shift. And I think as a result, if I played more Nanase, I think I'd learn the game better. Because I'm, I'm thinking more about taking advantage of the, the battle systems and the mechanics. I want to take more advantage of my meter, cross-cast, cross-cast, that's what it's called. Cross-cast veil off, 
Vorpal. All of those things, and I'm definitely like, when you're when you're trying to learn a new character, you don't really have time to to think about all that stuff. I will see you all in the future Nihongo Gamer video and or stream. See you next time, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.